Okay, hey guys, I'm back and feeling a little better. Today I'm going to show you a nice little program called Picasa. It's free from Google. It does a great job of sorting your pictures. Uh, real easy to navigate. You can see on the left here I got all of my folders that I've imported pictures to. You can double click on a picture, view it larger. You got your thumbnails up at the top that you can sort through. Down at the bottom you can zoom in, zoom out. Um, go back to the the library here. Got a lot of really good tools as well. One of my favorites is the auto color. Uh, it does a really good job of getting a nice natural color. It takes into account skin tones. Uh, and the other good part is you can undo everything you've done. It even has a little more manual tuning uh, with color, shadows, highlights, fill light. Uh, it's even got an eyedropper tool to pick up exactly where you want the uh, the white balance to be set from. You can see here I'm going to adjust the fill light up and you can see it pulls up the the shadows a bit. <clears throat> this is a much better picture for the fill light tool. You can see it's also on the main page there. And bring in some of the detail. Of course it's not going to rescue everything but this program will read RAWs as well. So you can pull up a lot of detail on your RAWs. Here I can adjust my highlights, uh, bring them up. You can't bring them down, so it's not like a highlight recovery tool. Over in the effects tab, you also have quite a few different choices. Um, here I'm going to do a blur, a soft focus. Uh, you click on the center spot. You can adjust the size of your soft focus and how strong you want to make it. And then you just hit apply, and then you save it. So. Go back here to the library. Another really nice tool that I like is the cropping tool and the straightening tool. It puts lots of grid lines all the way through, so it makes it real easy to find a vertical or horizontal line. And it seems more intuitive than, say, Lightroom, um, where I th believe Lightroom actually tilts the other direction. Um, this is real nice. You can actually manually adjust it or crop it to a specific size. Again, up at the top there, you'll see it says Save Changes. It's actually not adjusting my original file. Uh, when you hit Save Changes, it will save a copy of the original as well. Uh, here's another good example of the Straighten tool. Uh, you can see all the horizontal lines there in the background. This one was already pretty straight. So um, Here we have a couple different things. You can batch edit. You select all your pictures. I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, auto color and it'll actually update all the thumbnails. Really nice when you have some mixed lighting and you can see it does a, a good job of keeping track of the skin tones there. You have things like web gallery, email, print, uh, blog, straight from this. You can export. Up at the top you can also make GIF CDs. She's got some nice features here. Include a slideshow. You can choose the size of the files that you want on there. So if you want just a proof CD, you can use the smaller versions. You can have it include Picasa if you want. You can burn the disk with one button. Uh, also, there's a built-in import. Um, you can choose whatever, uh, either a folder or a disk. I'm going to choose this uh, disk up here. These are some pictures I took with my son out of the park the other day. <clears throat> and this is all real time. I'm just going to hit import all. I'm going to make a folder, you know, e in a park. And it'll ask down at the bottom what you wanted to do uh, with the original pictures. Do you want to leave them there? Uh, do you want to delete the ones that it's copied after it copies it or wipe the entire disk clean? So that was a real time import. Very, very fast at this actually works in the background. I'm going to select, this is my little point and shoot so it didn't automatically rotate them, but I'm going to just select multiple ones here and hit the rotate button. And there we go. And again, all this is done in real time while recording so it's actually a little slower than normal. This is great if you have friends that, that aren't exactly computer savvy or you just want something simple and consistent. It reads the raw files from any camera. Um, Canon, Nikon, Pentax, really doesn't matter. 
As you can see here, I'm just doing a few minor adjustments. Um, don't like the way the auto color looks, so I'll just bring that back. You know, do a little tuning. You know, bring my darken my shadows, fill fill in some light there, bring out my highlights. So anyway, great little program available for free at Google.com. It's available for both Windows and Linux. See you next time.